Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and we're finally going to apply the Paradiddle Trap. I'm calling this one the Paradiddle Trap Set, because we're on the set. And this is kind of my trap set. This drum set was one that I rescued out of a, a closet I found at a church, and it was, uh, I thought it was a Ludwig kit. And as I started kind of tearing it apart, I found out that it's really uh, some Japanese kind of thing. But I put a bunch of old heads on it, and I got a bunch of old cymbals, and uh, this is kind of my in my practice room kit, because my other kit's always out uh, doing other work with me. So uh, today we're going to apply the Paradiddle Trap. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. There's a link down in the description to that video. And it was just a sticking exercise of a, of a Paradiddle going back and forth with a, a tap. So it would be like Paradiddle Tap. And we did a little, um, uh, a little pad exercise to, to kind of get that in your hands. Now we're going to apply that to the drum set. So. You can take this as far as you want, but I want to kind of show you what you can do with orchestrations, taking a simple sticking pattern and applying it to the kit. So here's three uh, orchestrations or three ways to use it in three different styles. And um, I'd like to see what you guys do with this, but, but here's what I did with it over the week. So the first one is kind of a, a drum and bass type thing. Um, I hear this a lot, or I heard this a lot, and before I, I played this, um, I didn't actually know what was going on, but... All I'm going to do is take the paradiddle tap exercise, or paradiddle trap exercise, which is paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap, paradiddle, or right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, and I'm going to split my hands between the hi-hat and the snare drum. And that gives me my, my fill. The only thing that I'm going to do to make it a little bit more... Um, uh, in, in the style is, is add the bass drum on every pair or every downbeat of the new paradiddle. And then I'm going to take that last paradiddle instead of going paradiddle, I'm going to just play right, left, right. So I have. So it's paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap, right, left, right. And that sounds like this. To speed. Then I put the second note of the paradiddle on the floor tom, so you get. And I went right, left, right. That sounds like this. Continue that around, I just was doing this for fun. If you go kick with the cymbal, left, right on the floor tom snare, you can kind of cycle that around. So that's all that was. Uh, same exact thing I did over here. Another cool thing, if you do it over here again with the cross stick you get. Then you can cycle it around. Another thing I did was just move it around the toms. So I'm going to play paradiddle tap, I'm going to play one ti-ta, two ti-ta, paradiddle tap, one ti-ta, two ti-ta, one ti-ta, two ti-ta. And we're going to start this here like this, so I'm going to go, uh, one ti-ta, two ti-ta, one, so two kicks in a row, paradiddle tap. Then you get this nice little uh, groove kind of spice or fill in, it sounds like this. I did another video 
video a while back, a year or so ago, called the Linear Halftime Shuffle. It was in my Freeing the Halftime Shuffle series where I was talking about the groove of the Halftime Shuffle. If you take this paradiddle tap rudiment, and if you do kick, kick, and you call that second kick the first right, so it'd be like a right kick or a right foot instead of a right hand. You can just cycle it every uh, around and every other time substitute the foot. So you get this. Start with the foot. You can use that like this. Hey guys, I hope that gives you some ideas on how to apply the uh, paradiddle tap exercise. Take everything that, 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 that you do, simple sticking patterns, and get as much mileage out of them as you can. You've already built the muscle memory. So why not use it on the kit? Because your hands are already doing that. You don't have to do any extra work. The only thing you have to do is the coordination between the, the foot and the hands. One last thing you can do is play the paradiddle tap left hand lead. That kind of a feel. If this video helped you out at all, please like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in the future for another drum lesson.